raise your hand if any of you think about, for example, the state of our democracy. Donald Trump does not want what's good for America. He does not want democracy. I do want to. I do want to make one correction. We're not mm -hmm. a democracy. Now, I know that we are not a democracy right now. We are not a democracy. We have never <laughs> been a democracy. We are a democratic republic. No! Where did you get that? I'm genuinely starting to wonder if these state media hacks literally don't know the difference between a democracy and a republic. Or are they just playing dumb for a more sinister agenda? Yes, obviously. Yes. So this past Sunday, CBS News host Margaret Brennan did a focus group interview with Trump and Biden voters. And of course, the endlessly repeated robotic phrase, our democracy, came up multiple times to the point that one of the Trump voters has to give them all a lesson that they should have learned in civics or history class back in middle school. I do want to I do want to make one correction. We're not mm -hmm. democracy. Now, I know that we are C not a democracy right now. We are not a democracy. We have <laughs> never been a democracy. We are a democratic republic. It is in our documents, yeah. a democratic mm -hmm. republic. We practice democracy one day a year, and that's when we all go vote. That's our democracy. One man or woman, one vote. Okay. And then what we do is we elect our representatives that makes us a republic and then what we do what they do is they go to washington or they go to um you know raleigh for me or they mm -hmm. go to where whatever your state capital is and that's where they make the laws we elect them to make the laws that makes us a republic therefore and when we say the yep. pledge of allegiance what do we do to the republic for which it stands. Therefore, the United States of America is not a democracy. Democracy is mob rule. It, it, it didn't work in Athens. <laughs> it didn't work for the Greeks. It doesn't work here. Okay. Um, and a dictatorship doesn't either. <laughs> I'm sorry? And neither does a dictatorship. Exactly, and neither does a dictatorship. Right. It didn't work in no. Germany. It didn't work in Italy. <laughs> and it's just right. Work here. Um. Exactly. What else is there to say? That right there should be the end of this our democracy crap, right? Right. No, you idiot. Um. Show of hands. Does everyone hear then? regardless of what word you use. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, now we all know why they stopped teaching about the Constitution. They tried to pull this exact same crap on CNN last week, which of course I did a few videos on, where their democracy expert tried to peddle the same lie. You are hearing people say America is not a democracy because there are people around Trump who want them to be saying that, who've been planting that narrative. The word democracy and the word republic have often been used interchangeably. There isn't a meaningful difference between them. What? That is just so much utter bullshit. I gotta know, how many of you out there think this country is a pure democracy? And how many of you think that it's a blend between democracy and a republic? Let me know in the comments. The basic gist is that a pure democracy is mob rule. If 51% of the country vote for something, well, the other half is just shit out of luck permanently. The majority will always rule and call the shots, while the other half has no voice. You can definitely see how this is tantalizing to the left. They have convinced themselves that literally everything is going to end unless they are in total control. That's why so much time is spent propagandizing this country about the end of democracy and doomsday prophecies about climate change. The true believers who buy into it can then rationalize doing insanely authoritarian things to stop their boogeyman. That's why you see Democrats gunning for the Electoral College every time they lose an election, which is 
is another safeguard and one of the only institutions left keeping them from total control. So in summary, the plan seems to be a long one where they convince enough of this country that America has always been a democracy and thus anybody opposing their pure democracy are obviously the bad guys because only the bad guys would oppose democracy and who maybe shouldn't even be allowed to have a party. Maybe they should be treated as domestic terrorists so they can be oppressed under the guise of patriotic protection. The Republican Party is basically a domestic terrorist cell at this point and they should be treated as such. You might say, drone tech, why don't you just convince a majority of the country to vote for your ideas? Well, that might be possible in a republic country like ours with guardrails, but in a pure democracy where the Democrats or Uniparty are controlling the distribution of information, it's unlikely you'll ever be able to break through their ministry of disinformation because their opposition will always be disinformation. Oh, that's brilliant. While the Democrats and the left are so worried about Donald Trump becoming a dictator, the fact is only Joe Biden and the Democrats have the institutional power to actually carry something like that out as we're seeing right now. But they're completely blind to it because they've convinced themselves that they are justified in taking these actions. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments and if you're still here, I implore you to hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so make sure to keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.